Well, I first met Steve back in the probably mid-70s. We were both in the Canton JCs together and worked on projects together. Uh, I didn't know him real well then, but you knew he was one of those guys um, that when you wanted to get something done, he was one of those go-to guys that you could say, hey, Steve, can you do this or can you do that for us? And, and he always responded positively and was always able to uh, finish what he started. In 1990, uh, then uh, Governor George Voinovich was elected, and he came to me and said, uh, you business community people wanted me to run to make this a better state. And he said, I need help from you. I need pe good people that I can bring with me into the government of the state to uh, make it uh, as good a state as we can possibly have. And uh, at that time, I recommended uh, Steve to him because I realized that Steve could go down and work at the state for the governor, but also return to the Timken Company. In the year 2000, uh, President George W. Bush was elected, and once again he came to me and he said, uh, you people of the business world uh, uh, want better results for government. We have to have better people to serve in government. Do you have anybody in mind who uh, I could use in my administration? And of course, Steve uh, was foremost in my mind. Steve has impacted me professionally because of his leadership role with the Pro Football Hall of Fame. You know, as its president and executive director over the past seven years, he has brought great insight and great vision to the hall. And that has impacted the entire county. It certainly helps us, helps the community as a whole be recognized nationally and now even internationally as the home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Its recent $27 million expansion was really the vision of Steve and the implementation of that, of that vision by itself has brought the hall to even greater heights. And I know the entire Future 50 project will take the hall from where it is today and into the future, even on greater, greater levels. Now, as a testimony to Steve's capability uh, and his uh, ethical morality, uh, recommending someone for jobs as important as those who I've just covered uh, you have to have total belief in the person's capability to succeed and secondly in their ethical conduct uh, because in a sense by making these recommendations I was putting my own reputation on the line and once again I had no concern that Steve would let me down and obviously we all know the tremendous successful jobs that he has completed. So I look to Steve for leadership in the community and what the chamber does, how he can help influence that throughout not, not only the community, but through the nation because of the roles that he has served. I also consider Steve a dear friend. He's somebody that you can sit down and have fun with, laugh with, and tell stories with. He's a great storyteller. And uh, he and his wife, Sandra, make a great team. And I'm just glad that I can call them both friends. He loves golf. He is really an avid golfer. He is also, he's very funny. You have to listen to Steve to pick up the, the, the humor in many of his statements. But also, he's a great dancer. I've seen him dance. I worked with Steve when we brought the OJ um, celebration to the community. And I understand that Steve used to even sing as a kid with the OJs. Oh yeah, so maybe tonight Steve will sing, maybe he'll dance a little bit, but uh, he's quite accomplished at both. He's been involved in so many different organizations as, on boards and uh, people calling for advice all the time about different things. He's been involved with the Chamber of Commerce for a number of years, the Stark County District Library, United Way, the Urban League. I mean, I can go on and on and on. The Stark Development Board, the Canton Art Institute, just uh, tons of different organizations and boy, I can't think of any of the, anybody that's more deserving uh, than Steve to get the Award of Merit. Congratulations. It's an honor well deserved from the community and I give you my fullest congratulations and thanks for what you've done for our city, our state, and our nation. Steve, on behalf of the Canton Regional Chamber of Commerce, myself personally, our staff, 
our board, our members. We just want to say thank you. Thank you for the years of service to our community. Thank you for the friendship that you have brought along with that service. And we wish you and Sandra many happy years in your retirement. God bless you.